But, Miss Paget, you want to go back to Malaya? After what happened there? It's because of what happened there. But what good will it do you? Won't you be only torturing yourself? No. Now I've come into this money, I've, I've thought of all the things I can do with it. There's only one thing I really want to do. And I must do it. I'm going back to the village in Malaya where they took us in, where we lived for three years of the war. Those people risked everything they had to protect us. Now, at last, something I can do to pay them back. Yes, but there's no need to go there in person. I could transmit a sum of money to them. Oh, no, I don't want to do it like that. I want to go back there myself and give them the one thing I know they really need. I want to go back to dig a well. Finished? Yes, it's finished. And now you will leave us again. What will you do, Jean? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps you will get married? No. No, I shan't get married. I shall never get married, not now. Not after all that's happened since the day that changed my whole life. That day in Kuala Lumpur in 1942. And if the telephone hadn't rung, if only I hadn't stopped to pick it up. Pay attention, everybody, please. I've got something to say to you. You've all been told what to do in a state of emergency. Well, this is it. You're to get on the first train you can to Singapore. When you get there, report to head office. Passages have been arranged for England. Please be quiet. The Japanese are at Tanjong Malam, 50 miles from here. The special trains have been arranged for evacuees, so get out quick. That's all. Goodbye. You too, Jean. Just drop everything and get out. How are you going to get Mrs. Holden and the children away? We'll be all right. I thought the car was in dock. I'm going to get it. Listen, Jean, get on the first train you can. Fight your way on if necessary. See you in Singapore. Good luck and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Holland. Oh. 
phone. Well, don't bother about the phone now. Come on. Oh, I'll catch you up. Hello, who's that? Oh, come on. Hello, hello. You go on. I won't be a minute. Hello? Oh, Mrs. Holland. He's just gone. He's just gone to get the car. The servants have all gone and I've got no help at all. Oh, Jane, please go away. Go along and make a Mommy, the time. baby's crying. Yes, I know, dear. Now go and get your things. Go on, Freddy. Go on, Jane. Oh, it's the children. I can't manage them on my own. What? Hello? 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 a car I could hire. All cars gone. Haven't you got anything at all? All gone. Here. I wish he'd come. I wish he'd come. Can I take my rocking horse? No, darling. We can only take what we can carry here. Take, take, take Bunty. No, I want my rocking horse. I don't want Bunty. I want my rocking horse. Miss Holland, I'll put the baby's things in this suitcase here. Jean, what could have happened to him? He couldn't be so long getting the car. Oh, I expect it'll be difficult getting repairs done today. Yes, but he's been hours. Oh, something must have happened. <coughs> Did you hear that? It was guns. They must be blowing up the bridges. What are you doing here, Jean? Oh, well, I came to give your wife a hand, Mr. Holland, but now you're back, I can go and get the train. No, you won't, you can't. There's no transport running. I get lift some. No, you're in with us, sink or swim. All set, Eileen. Yes, I'll be ready in a minute. You are ready, whether you like it or not. Just drop everything and come along. One suitcase each. Yeah. Come on, Jane. Come on, Jane. Quick, Jane. Come on. mechanic. Can I start it, Dad? I'll give you the word. Try now. Try again. Yes. Well, that's not blowing up bridges. You better get out. Freddy, try again. We come. About five or six miles. The panel's 50, isn't it? Just about. In the ditch, quick. Come on, Freddy. Freddy.
Stop for a picnic? Our car's broken down. It's a fine time for that. Come on. We're making for Penang. You're in luck then. Hop in. Oh, you have to move up inside. Hurry, please. There's five more to come in. Look, there's my teacher with his horse for. Hello, Freddy. Mrs. Holland. The baby. Hello, Freddy. You'll find Timothy in there. Hey! Japs mustn't get your car. I'll have to burn it. Drive up. Pull up 50 yards. I've got 35 for you, sir. 16 women, 12 men, and 7 children. 35? Yeah. Well, shuffle them in the account's office, please. Right, sir. Driver, take them round the account's office and tell them not to wander about. I can get them away in fishing boats. What about the launch, sir? The Osprey? She's due back this evening. She won't be back here again. Not now. Mm. It's fishing boats or nothing. children, but don't make too much noise. Oh, gee. Yes? Can I have something to wipe his face? Oh, yes. Could you pass me? This one? I uh, suppose you haven't got such a thing as a cigarette, have you? Come on, Arthur. Don't let everyone push you around. I beg your pardon. That is not a camp stool. Oh, beg. I wish I hadn't brought so many things. Well, you're lucky. I had to leave everything behind. Did you? Oh. Where's your bubba, Dan? Where's your pet? Miss mm. <laughs> Horsfall, excuse me, but you see I'm a sick woman. I... I'm sorry, Mrs. Prither. I'll come back later. Fishing boats put to sea. No boats. Dear's office. Who? The lighthouse keeper. Yes, he's here. For you, sir. Hello? Johnson here, sir. The Osprey's just past the lighthouse. Thank you, Johnson. That's fine. 
They sent the Osprey back. He's just past the lighthouse. Get your party ready. Right, sir. The launch is coming back, and we can get you down to Singapore. Now, be as quick as you can, please. Stand up. Men stand against the wall with hands raised like that. There, there. Women stand in line facing men. Come on, hurry up. We take all money, watches, jewelry, and you get the receipt. Kochirani koi, ni me atirani ge. Soto! 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 All turn round now. When Japanese officer comes, all bow. Kyotsuke!
You got prisoners now. You do good things, you get good from Japanese. You do bad things, you get shot very quick. So do good things always, please. Men must go to prison camp now. Women and children stay here. You say goodbye now. Please, may we know what will happen to the women and children? Imperial Japanese soldiers always guide to women and children. You say farewell now. Drop waiting. Thank you. See you later. You see you. You see. Men outside, please. Okay. <laughs> Send me a postcard, won't you? Hurry, please. Goodbye, you old stick in the mud. Everybody stand up. When Japanese officer comes, all bow. Ladies, orders come. You go back to Kuala Lumpur. Train to Singapore, perhaps. Prisoners come there for women and children. You will be very happy. Back to Kuala Lumpur? Yes. You start now. Captain! You speak to Japanese officer. You bow. Always. Captain, may I speak, please? Yes. Where is the truck? The truck? Truck for women? No. You walk. Walk? But it's 50 miles. You go one bit each day. Impossible. We can't walk in this heat. English women have grand thoughts always. Japanese women not mind walk. 
Now you will. We're not Japanese women. No. You are the arrogant English. You will apologize and bow. Apologize, I say. It is hard to be prisoner. We will try to do good things. Very good thoughts. You march now. In line, please. Kowtowing to a Jap. Disgusting. No, she's quite right. We are prisoners. They can shoot us if they want to. They can shoot me if I ever kowtow to a Jap. You march now. In line, please. Are you go? Are you go? Are you all right, Mum? Yes, dear, I'm all right. Who's got some quinine? Here. Thank you. Jean, damp this for me. Tell Mrs. Knowles not to drink that water. Oh, I shouldn't drink that water if I were you, Mrs. Knowles. We'll get some fresh in the next village. all this stuff. Should I just take enough for the baby and things for Freddie and Jane? How far have we come? We're doing fine. A good seven miles. But it's 40 miles to Kuala Lumpur. 40 miles? Hagu! Hagu!
Eye drops. Thank you. Chloridine. Thank you, dear. Two aspirins. Thank you. Thank you. Quinine. Thank you, dear. I'm sorry, I haven't got any. How lucky you are not to have to bother with silly medicines. Oh, no, this one. Oh, no, that's for after meals. Oh, no, this is to stimulate my appetite. I'll take this for the children, come back for mine. Jean, hmm? do something for me. Speak to Mrs. Frith. She mustn't get away with it. I know what you want, but I'm a sick woman. I'm under doctor's orders. It's a miracle I've got as far as this. Come on, Mrs. Frith, we must share our medicines. You can keep your special ones. I'll just take the quinine and the codeine. Oh, God forgive you. You'll be all right. You'll be sorry when I'm dead. Timothy? Yeah. You can look after poor Timothy. Well, I'd like to. I'm so sorry I simply haven't the strength. You can look after each other. Why are you not March? Very bad thing. Can we please have a truck to Kuala Lumpur? You not go Kuala Lumpur. No railroad. British destroy bridges. You go Port Swetnam, that way. Then ship take you to Singapore. But it's nearly 50 miles to Port Swetnam. How are we going to get there? Yes, walk. One bit each day. You get there very quick. Then ship to Singapore. Why don't you eat your supper, Freddy?
Really sorry. No good. Well, you can have these two. You have money? No. Chocolate? No. Anything there? Nothing. Because I must have some milk for the baby. Tin milk or powdered milk, anything. English for all finish. Well, haven't you any tins of soup or vegetables? Very sorry. All finish. This is the last one until end of the world. Lovely. It's smart. Isn't it smart? They gave it to me. My dear, there's such a thing as keeping up appearances. Duchesses. Give us the adjustable, will you, Ben? Yeah. Be careful of things that you touches. Is. Because all of you light fingered gentlemen will beat you in botany. Hey, Ben, get those ruddy nips to get those ruddy women out of the way. I can't ruddy well see what I'm doing. Oh, in the way. Who said that? I did. You, in you speak English? I am English. Sorry, I thought you were a bum. Oh, hey, what's... But you're English. No fear, we're Australians. We're driving the thing for the Jeff. We'll take it up to Port Sweat. Oh. Good day. Oh, oh, we're walking to Port Sweat. You're walking? Yeah. Where from? From Kuala Lumpur. Hey, did you hear that, Ben? Yeah, it's a pretty rough deal. How do you get on for Tuck if you haven't got a camp? Mm. We get a pint of fish stew a day. And we beg from the Malays. And they give us food if they've got some themselves. Yes. Well, that was when you're sick. Well, we get well or we die. We've run out of medicine. If you had such a thing as a cigarette, I'd throw my arms about you. <laughs> I'll settle for that. Here we are. Here we are. Thank you. Oh, like please. Here we are. Have a glass of coffee. I'll light it for you. Hello, Colonel. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, you're pretty quick on the uptake. She's quick on anything. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't got a cigarette. That's all right. I'll get one tonight. Oh, are you staying here tonight? Well, if you're staying, Mrs. Boone, we are too. Get back to walk. Ah, drop dead. Oh. Oh, you better beat it, ladies. Go on. Yeah. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye. What sort of medicines do you want? Oh, quinine. Send me the children's skin troubles, oh, dysentery, anything at all, anything. You got any money? No, haven't. Well, I'll fix something. Hey, I didn't think the first time I talked to her, an English lady, she looked like you. Oh, you're quite an oil painting yourself. <laughs> How do we fix a breakdown, Ben? Well, take a deck out the hub, pull out the half shaft from the differential, strip the crown and pinion. Throw away the carburetor. Throw away the truck. <laughs> I hear you're going to get medicine if you haven't got any money. Well, the old truck looks pretty bad to me. Yeah, it looks pretty crook. Sell it in the village. Ijonaka, Ijonas. Do me up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Look, friend. You want some petrol? Papa, Papa. This is the stuff the Chinese take for dysentery. It's all written in Chinese, but it means take three of these leaves every four hours. And I've got some sandbuck for the skin disease. Never pay you for this. The Japs have heard. I really don't know it. Oh, thank you. Joe Harmon. My name's Jim. Sorry I called you Mrs. Boom. Good day. Good day. Good day. Oh, thank you. Don't go. 
What about the guards? I'll watch them from here. to tap out. Good night. Uh huh? No, I don't come from Sydney. I work in the Northern Territory, a place called Wellstown, to the east of the Alice. I'm a stockman. Alice. Yeah, Alice Springs. It's a town dead in the centre between Darwin and Adelaide. I thought the middle of Australia was all desert. <laughs> no word, no. <laughs> no. Well, the Alice is beautiful. You get three meals a day there every day. You'd like it. Would I? <laughs> but uh, your place, is it uh, sheep farmers and... No, it's too hot for sheep. Cattle, about 18,000 head. Sounds a big place. Mm, 2,700. Acres? No, square miles. Oh, one farm. The station you do. Well, how many men do you take to run it? Well, about three and about nine booms. What is this boom? <laughs> it's an Aussie word, boom. It means jippo, abo, black fella. Mm. Can't get the white fellas to work there. It's about 60 miles to the nearest homestead. Must be lonely. Yes, it is. For women. I suppose you've got to be born to it. But you'd like the Alice. It's beautiful there. It's, well, the country's all red and the mountains are red. And then in the evening, sometimes it all goes kind of purple. Of course, after the wet, it's green. That's all right. <laughs> I suppose everybody likes their own place, and the Alice is my place.
So sorry. No food for peasants here. You must go dump it. That way. We've got one of these at home. So have we. So have we, too. My dear, I'd already seen it from the corridor. Well, I got here first, and I'm staying here. I'm tired, and I'm fed up. We're all tired, aren't we? I'm as tired as you are. In any case, I'm older. Huh. I wouldn't dispute that. Oh, one of these days. What is it? Nothing. I was just wondering just how long one can go on that sort. Ma! 
Flossie. Bananas. Kora! Dazra, Suruna! Freddy, what is it? What's happened? Freddy, what is it? What is it? What's the matter? Heavy! Heavy there! What is that? What's that? Heavy! Heavy there! I can't understand. Freddy, what is it? Heavy! Heavy there! Snake! Yeah, snake! Come along, dear. We'll go for a walk. I'm sorry, I can't have you here. I have no facilities for women prisoners, no rations. Tonight you will stay in the school. Tomorrow you must go elsewhere. But what's going to become of us? You've got to understand. We've been walking for four months, four months, this way and that way. Nobody taking any responsibility for us, nobody caring. Four of us have died already. Oh, this little boy. He must get to Singapore or we shall all die. 
Haven't you any ships? Yes, we have ships. For, for Singapore? Well, the ships go to Singapore, yes. Thank God. When can you send us? Tomorrow? Can we go tomorrow? You stay tonight in the schoolhouse. Tomorrow, we see. You come here. No, you. You got a very nice baby. He's not mine. His mother's dead. I'm taking him to Singapore. I have an order. No more prisoners go to Singapore. Strict order. Very sorry. But what can we do? Can we stay here? You stay tonight, yes. But no longer. Sorry. My children need this school. Uh, can we build our own camp? We won't ask you for anything. Except food. No food here for prisoners. No. You go to prison camp. You go to prison camp at Canton. Canton? But that's on the East Coast. That's on the other side of Malaya, nearly 200 miles. Okay, 200 miles. But how do we get there? By rail, by truck? Walk, is that it? We walk. Women and children, 200 miles. We walk until the rest of us die. That's what you want, isn't it? Why don't you have the courage to shoot us all? God, shoot us! God, shoot us! Women and babies! Shoot! 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 No! All right, Captain. We will walk to Quantum. Come here. Come here, please. Two hundred miles. Yes, that is very far with a baby. I make other arrangement. You could send us by truck. No, you stay here. I make good arrangement. You stay good house, English house. All of us, you mean? Others walk Canton. You stay. You keep baby if you want. Japanese soldiers, very kind to women. You will be very happy. Come back! Come back! You, come here. Quantan. That's 200 miles. Never get over the mountains. Oh, yes, we will.
I think it's the car. Yeah, possibly. Thank you. Where have you been? I thought you were going to Port Sweat and we've been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? Well, Joe, they keep moving us on. They won't let us stop. They say there's no camp for us. There's no camp anywhere. Joe, go back! Joe! Joe, go back! Can I get anything for you? Can I get anything for the kids? Joe, go back! Joe, go back! Come on, Joe! We'll be all right. If he's going, you'll be killed! Come on, Joe! Where are you bound for? Quentin! Now, champs at Quentin, we're up and down that road every week. I'll find you! Come along, dear. Come along. Come on. Try. Try. Come along. Jean, you've been giving Jane quinine. I want some for Brenda. You know there's been none for a week. I saw you giving it to her. Does she look like it? We must go on. We must get out of the swamps. How is she, Mrs. Frost? She can't go any further. We'll rest here till daylight. There, darling. Have a little rest. Isn't there any drinking water? Not to be boilsome.
machine. Poor little Jane. Yes, she's the one with the baby. for operation breakdown. Yeah. Dear Mrs. Boone. Who's Mrs. Boone? ships. The countryside's green and cool. I've had enough of heat and sun and fever. No, I'm not kidding. There's an ice rink there. I used to skate a lot. 
I could waltz. What well, a nice. Mm. I'd like to have seen that. Mm. What you do in Kuala Lumpur? Oh, just secretary, nothing special. Oh. Look, uh, you're freed tomorrow. What do you get? We may be lucky tomorrow. Oh, we'll be all right when we get to Quentin, to real prison camp. In Quentin? Well, yes, there's one there, isn't there? Sure, yes. Well, I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, you'll be all right there. I can get a couple of chickens and drop them off when we come back up country. Oh, Joe, I wouldn't like you to do that. Now, look, you attend to your business, Mrs. Bowman. I'll attend to mine. Take everything you can get, prisoner's motto. And mine. Please don't take risks, Bruce. Look, look, anybody can run rings around the Japs as long as you know how to scrounge. All clear. Just a minute. Okay. Only one other thing. Mr. Boom, did he get away? There's no Mr. Boom, Joe. Celebrate. Freedom chicken and champagne? Just chicken. Just chicken. Just chicken. I see. Know any? <laughs> if I had the flight of a bronze wing, far over these plains I would fly. And I'd fly to the arms of my loved one, and there I'd be willing to die. Captain Sagai has got some chickens, hasn't he? No, Joe. Don't try anything. Not with Sagaya. Think it I. Think it I. Wrap me up.
I doubt if my stomach will stand up to all this rich food. Perhaps you'd better give it away. Oh, no. How many is that now, Timothy? 333. <laughs> 334. <laughs> Don't suck your fingers, Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> the sergeant's coming. For you, good sir. Thank you. I know one of you men stole my chicken. Who was it? We haven't seen your chickens. You searched our camp, didn't you? How many men away? None. You? One. Where did he go? Yesterday, but he couldn't have taken your chickens. Sorobrosase! Your stomach seems to be standing up to it all right, Mrs. Frith. I got the wishbone. Hold that. There. Put it. Pull, 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 pull. Oh. Which one? Oh. Wish. What did you wish for? I couldn't think of a single thing. Where you get chicken? We buy. Where you get money? We sell ring. You don't speak truth. Australian soldier story. Give you. We haven't seen Australian soldiers for three days. We buy. You lying. Australian soldier still give you. Look at that. We buy. We sell when you ring off dead woman. You come here! <laughs> Tell me the truth! 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 Tabanko? Arigato.
रुके
You very bad people. You do bad things. Australian men die. You be very sorry. You Japanese sergeant. You make disgrace for him. Now I punish sergeant too. I take all the soldiers away. You sergeant feel bad shame alone with women prisoners. Hey, 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 No prison came here for you. I send you to Kotabaru. You walk now. Go! Attention! This prisoner executed, not for stealing, but for striking Japanese guard. But Japanese chivalry permit honor to soldier. Japanese Bushido is like European law of chivalry. Good God! You now die. I offer you last wish. What do you want? I want to die on my feet, throttling the life out of you, you little bird. All right, you can have him. Robin? Robin! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Don't you dare keep your hands on him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him. don't. The man's done no harm. He's a Jap, isn't that enough? I hate him. I hate him. I hate him.
谢谢。Your children gone, so. Poor Sergeant. You can't really hate people, can you? That's a wonderful thing to find out. You're thinking of Joe. I was thinking of the first time I saw him. When he crawled out from under the truck. His face when he heard me speak English. And the times when we talked together. And we shared a cigarette. And the time when he talked about a town called Alice. I mean, been tied. As there is no man to speak for us, forgive me if I ask you to talk business with a woman. Do do. What do you want? We have walked for many hundreds of miles, and no Japanese officer will take us in, or feed us, or look after us when we're sick. So for months, we've marched from town to town. And in that time, more than half of us have died. Now our guard is dead. If we go on till we find another Japanese officer, he won't want us either. He'll send us on again, and we shall grow ill, and we shall all die. It is written that the angel said, every soul shall taste of death. Is it not also written, if you be kind towards women, God is well acquainted with what you do. Where is that written? In the fourth surah. Are you of the faith? No. But wise words are well in any faith. Tell me what you want. To stay here in your village. To work in the rice field as your women do. To work just for our food and somewhere to sleep. White women have never worked on the rice field. White women have never marched till they died. We have little food, little water. Our young men have been taken to work for the Japanese. We will grow more food for everyone. If I let you stay here, the Japanese might be hungry. They might punish us, kill us. You say we must go, we must go. We are in your hands.
for my rheumatism. I won't last long like this. You're the toughest of us all, Mrs. Frith. You've lasted this far, you'll last forever. Too much? Too heavy? I've told you before. If a Malay can do it, I can do it. Come on, load me up. It isn't the first time I've been called horsey. Satu, dua, tiga, mpa. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Let us build it up again, up again, up again. Let us build it up again, my fair lady. Dear Robin, for three years, as the rice was sown and harvested and sown and harvested again, I looked after you and watched you grow. And when the war ended and I gave you back to your father, it was like losing my own child. It is good, Suleiman. You have done well. Good. Now I must go back to my home. Oh, where's that? Quantum. Quantum. Very bad Japanese man in Quantum during the war, Captain Sugaya. Many bad things done. Many evil things. Suleiman, I was in Quantum. When we were starving, a prisoner stole some food for us. Captain Sugar crucified him. I remember that. He was a long time in hospital. But he died. How could he be in hospital? My son shall tell you. Jacob, the Australian soldier who was crucified during the war, did he die? He went to hospital. What? Jacob, come here. Tell Miss Jean if that man, did he live or did he die? Captain Sugaya ordered him to be taken down that night. The guards were good. They took him to hospital. He lived. What is it, Jean? Please help me to find him. I must know if he lived, if he's alive, if he got home. Picture theater and a swimming pool and two hotels and another one going up. Well, Alice is a beaut. There's your man. Hey, mate. Hello, Dave. Jack, I want you to meet Miss Paget. This is Jack Byrne, shell agent. He's been here for 25 years, knows everybody. Hello, Miss Padgett. Hi. Pleased to meet you. How do you do, Mr. Burns? Do you know a Joe? You are from England. i got folks in Wolverhampton. Is that near you? Oh, about 200 miles away. Well, oh, do you know the Fletchers in Wolverhampton? Oh, Wolverhampton's a big place. <laughs> yes, I but suppose so. 
Uh, what was it you wanted? Did you ever know Joe Harmon? Joe? Yeah, I knew him. Did he come home after the war? Sure. He took up his old position as manager over at Willstown. That's out in the bush. He took his family with him, I suppose. Didn't know Joe was married. Oh, perhaps I got it wrong. Engaged. Oh, could be. Never heard of it. You, Dave? No. How do I get to Willstown? Eddie Conlon flies the mail out once a week, but it's a cow of a place. Hi, Doug. Hi, Sam. For Daphne Campbell. Her shoes will be ready next week. I'm going across to Miller's now. Be back this evening. I'll bring the beer then. See you later. Oh, Sam, this is Miss Paget. How are you, Miss Paget? She wants to get into Willstown. Well, that's something new. Most people want to get out of it. Get inside, Miss Paget. Thank you. Don't take a minute to get into Willstown. Get through it and get out of it. <laughs> It's all yours. Where can I find Joe Harmon? Joe? Yes, he around? He's not here. He's gone off. Where to? He didn't say. He's left the country, I do know that. He's been gone for a couple of months. Well, when's he due back? He don't write. And if he thinks as I do about Willstown, he'll never come back. It's a fair cow, isn't it? Yes, it's a fair cow. Well, you see, Miss Paget and I don't know each other very well. We don't have much of a chance. Well, you know what happened. Are you all right now? Sure, I'm fine. Well, last time I saw her, she was dressed up like a native with a sarong and everything. I don't remember much about it. They were beating her up. Mr. Harmon, I've got some news for you. You've come across the world to England to look for her, haven't you? That's right. Well, she's gone across the world to Australia to look for you. I... Announcing the arrival of Trans-Australian Airways Flight 571 from Darwin. Eddie Connolly to Willstown. Any messages for me? No, sorry, Joe. You sure? No, nothing. Joe. 